Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for another show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what I got in my envelopes. Welcome back to all of my subscribers and regular viewers and if this is your first time to my channel I hope that by the end of the video you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. Each month I like to stop by and share with you cards and notes that have came to my P.O. box over the month. This used to be only a show us your sheet load feature, but then I started having subscribers just send in cards to say hey. So it's kind of turned into a mixture. So some of these cards today might be sheet load cards and other of them might be just cards to say hello, or I did have a couple people contact me to send me a birthday card, so it could be that as well. If you ever wanna send me just a note to say hey, or a card for the show us your sheet load feature. I do have my PO box in the bottom of all of my description boxes and I have a special video on how you can show us your sheet load and I'll link that in the description box as well. And also in today's video, some of these cards might include a special note to me saying that they want to be entered to win this stamp set. I did a hidden giveaway in my sheet load of cards video earlier this month. And I also got in some cards for my birthday where they wanted to be entered to win this. But I will go to the post office box one more time and then I'll share the winner of this next week. Are you ready to see what I got in the mail? Okay, first up is Tanya B. It looks like Tanya's card is just a little happy mail to me, so I'm going to read her note real quickly and I'll be back. Tanya sent me a package of forget-me-not seeds. Thank you so much, Tanya. And her note inside was so kind. I'm so glad that you enjoy my channel. The next card is from Marilyn M. And Marilyn has sent me a card for my birthday. Thank you so much, Marilyn, for the adorable card. And she also mentioned inside how the front of her card is actually based upon my July 2019 sheet load of cards. And I totally thought that before I opened the card, but now I have confirmation. Thank you so much, Marilyn. The next card is from Mackie. I love that name. Look at this gorgeous card she made using the April 2020 sheet load of cards. Mackie, did you create that background or is that a pattern paper? It is beautiful. So inside, let me take this note out first. Inside it says, it's your birthday. Happy 29th birthday from your 110 pound friend. I love that, so cute. Let me read your note. Thank you so much, Mackie, for your note and for sharing a sheet load with me. Hey guys, I just wanted to drop in and give you today's secret word for my 10K subscriber giveaway. To find out all the rules and how you can enter to win one of four $25 gift cards, make sure to check out my announcement video which is linked in the description box below. For today's video, the secret word is happy. Next is from Linda H and this is gonna be an April sheet load card. So Linda has turned the sketch because the original was portrait, but she has turned it to be landscape. Love that. That flower paper is beautiful. Thank you so much, Linda, for sharing that card. Next, we have one from Diane A. Another beautiful April sheet load card. Love those papers. And Diane did put a note inside that she wants to be entered in the giveaway, so I will make sure to put her name into the drawing. My next two envelopes are from the same address, and I believe it is Sue. And last month, Sue sent me those clear epoxy gems from Stampin' Up! that I have already put to good use. So this first one says it is Happy Mail. Sue has made a clear card. She's probably seen me make these on my channel. And look how fun that is. There's an envelope there. That is adorable. That also is a good way to hide the adhesive from the pieces on the front. So I just read Sue's note, and this is actually a paper pumpkin alternative on a clear card. The envelopes must have came with the kit that month. 
I wish I would have been a subscriber in April 2018. That is adorable. Thank you so much, Sue, for sharing that with me. This one also says Happy Mail, and it is another clear card. Sue is a woman after my own heart. She knows I love those. So this one has a fun fold on the inside. How you open the front one way and the inside another. Thank you so much, Sue. I love that. And last but not least, I have an envelope from my sister. Oh, so she has done more than one month. So it looks like we have a couple Aprils, and then I think this was March's layout. I love how that one's turned horizontal. And she left these two with no sentiment, so I could use these for anything. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much to everyone who took the time to send me in a card and write me a little note. And if you did want me to enter you into the giveaway, I will be back next week to announce the winner. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. And until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye.